The next story is just going to wow you. Uh, a most unusual visitor to our shores, if we can put it that. Incredible because it involves an Arctic fox. Norwegian researchers say this fox walked all the way from Norway to Canada. That's 3,500 kilometers and then some. Um, stunning to the researchers who were tracking the animal and Laura's here as we believe I was gonna say this is a fantastic Mr. Fox but this is a she isn't it that's correct huh well tell us all about this incredible odyssey an amazing adventure 76 days that's some commitment by this fox to make <laughs> it to Canada traveling on sea ice and glaciers en route to here from Norway so set out on, from Spitsbergen in Norway, headed to Greenland, and that is a process that took, you know, about three weeks last year, then finally making it to Canada after those 76 days, ending up on Ellesmere Island in far north Nunavut. And the, we're learning about this from a new research paper, these researchers recounting how they had tracked this fox. You can see it's wearing a little tracking collar there. It's very cute. And it was averaging about 46 kilometers per day, more than a marathon, each day. That's a whole lot of walking, but it's worth pointing out that because the fox was on sea ice, it did float a good amount of the journey. One day traveling 155 kilometers. Can you believe it? My. And they've never seen a, a fox migrate so far or so fast before. They said they were speechless when they looked at the data that was being transmitted back from that. They thought maybe, in fact, its collar had been removed by someone and put on a boat. Hmm. Um, but there was no trickery involved in this because in the end, there were no boats up that far north there were none in the area and they know that it did actually have to walk making it to Canada but then actually its GPS tracker stopped working back in February of this year so we've lost track of the fox oh, but no. hopefully it's still up there somewhere having fun feisty focused and fierce this fox and somewhere out there in the north of our country perhaps one of the aspects to the story that people are sort of twigging on to is the fact that uh, this fox needed the sea ice to get from Norway to Canada we know that that's diminishing in this time of climate change and uh, it kind of reminds us of the role in migration. That's exactly right. So as that sea ice disappears, it means that foxes or other species can't migrate like the, this one did in this situation. And so this fox was relying on, you know, the birds or the fish in this area also being disrupted by melting sea ice. And it's um, when there's no ice, it means that the water around it, in fact, picks up more heat and that contributes further to global warming. So it is a worrying situation. Foxes like these becoming increasingly isolated on that archipelago in Norway. Perhaps in future they won't be able to migrate at all using the sea ice and it's actually prompted Norway's climate minister to come out and say it's time to cut emissions because we have to help species like this. We also need the sea ice to survive. An interesting Canada Day story. Laura, thank <laughs> you for bringing it to us today. Laura McQuillan here in studio.